is about health insurance, and I hope you all already have it, right? Where are you calling from, Sam? Sam? Sam, are you trying to tell me I stumped you with asking you where... Yeah, that's it. Where are you calling from? Oh, I don't know what to say, Cliff. Hi there, this is Jerry. How are you doing today? Okay, how, how can I help you, Jerry? All right, well, actually, this is about the open enrollment period for the Medicare recipients. Okay. If you have the hospital and medical coverage with the Medicare, is that correct? Yes. What, what company are you calling from? Oh, well, the name of my company is U.S. Healthcare. U.S. Healthcare. And, okay. Uh, you know, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep going. I just wanted to know who who was calling. That's all. Okay. And the thing is, like, uh, if there are some updated benefits on the dental, vision, hearing, and the extra benefits on the uh, co-pays, medical bills, prescription drugs, and a lot of other stuff like that. Like, we're just gonna go ahead and like review your options to make sure you're not missing any benefits for the 2024. And yeah, I believe you are still residing at the state of Florida, right? Why is it that everybody that calls me from the U.S. healthcare has some type of foreign accent, like an Indian accent? Does your call center yeah, hire a we, lot of Indians? Yeah. yeah, we have a lot of Asians over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. not the Indians. Asian, actually. It can be anyone. Uh, you, how can you say that, like, they're Indian? Well, I don't if know exactly. Be Asian, African, Pakistani, or whatever. Yeah. You know, uh, there are a lot of companies in, like, a lot of uh, countries in Asia, you know. So the thing is that you cannot... Like judge a book by its cover. That's You're true. Wise man. I, That's true. That's true. I just I just find it odd that everybody that calls me has a foreign sounding accent. It's like you guys don't yeah, hire exactly. anybody that has an American accent. You know, <laughs> it's almost like maybe you yeah, guys are. Ameri- you do. I've we never spoken Ameri- to one, and I talk to you guys okay, yeah. dozens of times a day. So I, f- I always find oh, it odd. You are- yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I got you. So, uh, like, am I speaking, Mr. Uh, like Michael Sh- Sharifar? Is that your name? Sir? Yes, yes. But like I said, I get okay, but, dozens of these calls a day, and I just find it odd but, that but, you all have foreign accents. But you are just twenty nine, actually. Like, uh, how can it be? Like, uh, how can it be? Like, you have the medical on the age of twenty nine. Have you ever heard of disability and people who have Medicare uh, through the disability? Yeah. I yeah, know, I know about that. I was just trying to mm. confirm, like, if you have it, like, because sometimes, you know, there are DNC person who are trying to just move forward, and they usually abuse our specialists, uh, like, we yeah. usually connect this call uh, over uh, the specialist, like, the local ISIS agents, so sometimes they're trying to, you know, abuse them, so that's why I'm just, I was just trying to confirm it from your side, like, uh, so you are on disability, huh? So, so if you knew I was 29 years old, why would you have called me in the first place, unless you knew... I had Medicare through Social Security Disability. Because I have a list over here, like the name right. of the persons, and there are, there, there are some persons who are like 79 and 72. Right. So, uh, like my job, my job is just to make sure the qualifying individuals over this list, like uh, uh, the thing is, uh, I, we don't want to do any mistake. That's what I'm only here for. And after that, I'm, I was just going to connect you with my so, uh, so what you're, and he was going to connect you. So what yeah? you're saying is, you knew I was 29, you knew I was on your no. list to call. No, 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 no. you like, already had that information. Not. Okay, bye-bye. You <laughs> his, his, his His logic was totally bunk, but uh, it's always fun to screw. Hello? Yeah, no, I'm calling from how Hello? Benefits. How are you? This is Daniel for Healthcare Benefits. How are you? Oh, very good. How can I help you? Perfect. So the reason why we gave you a call is that you may qualify for some healthcare benefits. And the best part is that you don't have to pay anything out of your pocket. And only in case you are under 65, right? Yes, yes. I'm, I'm, only, I'm only 58. Oh, your son is pretty younger than your age. And... Uh, I, I believe you don't have any uh, Medicare or Medicaid, right? No, I don't. I don't qualify for that just yet. Still got a f- several oh. more years. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have any? No. Oh, he gave up. Next time. Hello. My name is Susan, and I'm calling you from Accident Management. How are you doing today? 
Oh, not too bad. How can I help you? I believe you were involved in an auto accident for which your compensation amount is pending. Is that correct? That is true, yes. Let me pass your call to the claim investigator so they can explain to you how you will really get the compensation. There we go. Okay. Hello? Uh, hello? Yes, hello. Are you going to help me or am I just going to sit here and say hello? Alright, forget you. Hello? 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 Yes. Yeah, hi, this is James from Healthcare Benefits. How are you? Oh, very good. How can I help you? The reason of my short call is that you may qualify for some additional healthcare benefits. Only in case you are under 65, is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, so just to check your eligibility, how young are you? 58. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any Medicare or Medicaid? No. That's great. Hello? Where'd you go? Hello? Guess he gave up too. Oh well. They will call back. Yes, I can hear you. Who's this? Yep. Yes, sir. We had a conversation before and got a dis uh, disconnected some technical issues. Your call was transferred to me. How are you doing today? Okay. Well, who am I talking to? Uh, you are talking with Mark James uh, from Healthcare Benefits. Okay. And the reason of my call, maybe you are qualifying for some healthcare benefits. So you told my associate you are 58 years young. Right? Yes. Yes, that's correct. Uh, perfect. And you are from the state of Florida, Jacksonville, Florida. Yes, that is also correct. Mm -hmm. And what is your zip code down there? Uh, 32202. Two, all right. So how would you pronounce your first name? How exactly are you going to help me today? You know, we are providing you free no obligation codes and health insurance. Due to open enrollment 2024, the rate on health insurance has been dropped down up to 70%. So I just asked you a few questions, like uh, your first and your last name. After that, I will connect you with my license agent straight away. Okay. okay. Um, do you guys usually okay. check the national do not call list before you start calling people? I mean, I'm just curious. Yes, yes, yes. Before I will transfer the call, I'll check your number on our portal. If, uh, is it on federal or something like Okay, you are registered on DNC National or uh, federal DNC as well, right? Then why the hell did you call me in the first place, dude? Have a great day. Have a yeah, you, again. Call you dickhead. Yeah, you'll call again. Trust me, they will call again. Call over here. Okay, how can I help you? Well, uh, this call is about your Medicare benefit and savings. I believe you have Medicare Part A and B both at your right. Yes, and who am I speaking with? Uh, myself, Paul Gray. Your name's what? My name is Paul Gray. Paul, okay, and what company are you calling from? Paul, did you hear the question? I don't know. Maybe he did. Maybe he didn't. I'm sorry, where are you calling from? Healthcare benefits, and the reason I'm calling you is just to let you know that today you have been qualified. <laughs> that can help you recover all of your monthly expenses. I just need to confirm that your age is less than 64, bro. Yes, it is. Did you call me bro? Oh, right. Bro, bro. Bro, yeah. My brother. Yeah, you're not my brother. I don't think you look anything like me. Alright, so let me just ask you one more question. Uh, do you have any kind of health insurance through the marketplace or through the government? Like Medicare, Medicaid or anything? Any wow. private health insurance? I, I want to go back to this bro comment. Do you say that to everybody you talk to? 
Or is it just me? No, no, no. Just you. Just me? You're so good. Good at it, bro. I'm good, yeah, good at what? You are. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Okay. Yeah. Why? It's yeah, okay. calling calling somebody up and calling them bros. Very unprofessional. Do you have a manager there I could talk to? Oh uh, no, he's not with me right now. Actually, he's. Well, go get him, cause I'd like to speak to him, please. He's in, he's in there. He's in where? Well, let me talk to somebody else then. Oh, there is nobody. There's nobody else. You don't sit right next to a dozen other scammers. I mean, I mean, call center people. <laughs> you said scam? Yeah. Oh. Let me just talk to somebody else, please. No. No what? I don't have to talk to you. There's nobody. I can hear. I can hear people behind you talking. Let me talk to somebody else, please. Bro. I'm calling about your health care, bro. He could have lied. Could have kept going, but now he admitted to it. Who calls somebody up? A professional... Pro Never mind. I know the answer to the question. It's a rhetorical. Hello, who are you calling for? Hello? Is this Timothy Jones? Yes, yes, this is he. How can I help you? Uh, uh all right. Um, this is Jenny with InsureTech, and the reason I'm reaching out to you is because Medicare recommends that you have a no-cost review or benefit check at least once a year, and also you might be eligible to get new benefits, additional income, and higher allowances that you're probably missing out on. So I just need to confirm, Timothy, if you do have Medicare Parts A and B. I do. What what company did you say you were calling from? Red InsureTech. From where? Red InsureTech. I, I don't know what you're saying. I, I don't understand what you're saying. Can you spell it? Red InsureTech. InsureTech? I am. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. InsureTech. I've never heard of that uh, before. It's the first time I've heard of yeah. that. So we, are, mm -hmm. so we are a group of Medicare advocates assigned to call and inform you of recent updates that you may or may not have in your local area. Okay. Right? So going back, mm -hmm. I just need to confirm if you do have the Medicare parts A and B. Yes, I have part A and B of Medicare, yes. Okay. All right, that's great. And I'm sure you know that Medicare benefits vary depending on the zip code you live in. So I just need to confirm some of your information on file if it's up to date, okay? So I have here your zip code listed as 32220. Is that correct? 32202 is how it should be listed. If you have it as 32220, that's incorrect. Hold on, just hold on, just one second for me, okay? Hold on. Hello. Honestly, I was getting tired of her. I was hoping there was a better scam call coming through. Hello, somebody there? Oh, and she, oh, wait a minute. Nope, she hung up. All right. I don't know what the barely what she was saying, but. Needless to say, nope, wasn't going to work. Hey everybody, and thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you like the content, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way, and we'll catch you all next time.